Hello. I cut this video in half, so here's the next part of it. Last time, yeah, we broke out of the Nazi prison, then Pavel got captured again by Nazis, so now we're trying to save him, sneaking around and such. So, uh, yeah, get ready for a lot of not talking. Probably just gonna do a lot of very funny cuts of me bashing in the back of people's skulls with metal shards. So, uh, yeah, see you guys doing that. Yeah, the station got their shit together. After a year without peace, it has put me on edge. So... The ones are battled against the Dark Ones. Oh, sure as hell did. Those weren't even human, were they? Some kind of monsters? Yeah. Damn, yeah, yeah. total freaks. So Jet black instance. skin, no privacy. Oh, they reproduce so together. Black eyes with Do no they? Eyes. And if one so much hey, as looked at you, that's it. So die hey, was it? Hey? Oh, the freaking boredom is killing me. Almost wish the Reds would attack, huh? <laughs> I could make you not bored very easily. You have to be very sneaky here. Ooh, sneaking about, sneaking about! <laughs> Gotta go fast. When I heard Fura's hysterical ramblings, all the pieces of the puzzle started falling together. The assaults on the patrols, them capturing me as a polis representative, the existence of D6 is no longer a secret, and a total war in the metro is approaching. Bro writes fast, which I guess he has to do in this situation. What? <laughs> what, that? Huh? what? I surrender, you hear? I surrender. Let the big wigs duke it out. I had enough. Don't try anything, bro, and we'll be we'll be all good. Having a guide like Pavel sure puts my mind at ease. It seems he'd been here before, and Reich's peculiarities don't surprise him. I wish I knew what kind of mission he was on, but I just can't find the right moment to talk. Pavel seemed to know that Reich was poised for war beforehand, while to me this was a revelation. The tales of the stores we found in D6 are already circulating through the metro. The order was not going to hog the fine, but we're running out of time to explain this. Reich is already almost at the order's throat trying to take the vault. So what's going to happen when the Red Line and Hansa find out about the bunker? So that's the war Miller was talking about. Yeah, we're all good, bro. Just... Chill there, alright? That loud sound scared me for getting into the vent, not even gonna lie. Pavel's almost certainly going to hang. Who knows? What would have happened to me had he not released me? Red, blue, yellow... What difference does that make? He risked his life for me. You don't get that much in the metro. I can't just walk away on him. Is that him? Artyom! Shit! I knew you wouldn't abandon me. I knew it! You're a true comrade. I'm in your debt for life. Now get me out of here and I'll lead you home in no time. Fuck! Fuck, they're coming for me! Gonna take me to the noose! Good luck, my friend! You're my only hope now! Come on, get your ass out here, you fucking commie rat! What you say about my kids, you fuck! Or the next ones will be your brothers and sisters! <laughs>
Looking for this guy's stash. Nope. Who's there? Don't shoot, man. Take anything. But please, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Okay, but I'm just saying. On one of their own. Bastards. If you try something, you're getting shot. People are worse than beasts. I don't know a thing. I don't know why I got a moral point there. Was it for not killing anybody? <laughs> Lots of stealth. Probably not going to be that much talking or anything. Uh, which I kind of apologize for, but that's just how I am being stealthy, so. Uh, it wouldn't be Metro without that, now would it? Basically, the Metro never knew any lasting peace. The United Administration lasted for just a few years. It all fell apart by itself when it became obvious that the world was no more, that the rumors of the president and the government surviving and escaping somewhere behind the Urals were just that, rumors, and that Russia was no longer rising from the ashes. After that, it was every man for himself. The stations turned into city-states, and yesterday's neighbors turned into bitter enemies. Survival in the metro meant struggle. For food, air, every square inch of habitable ground. Hardly a quarter survives today of those 200,000 who found their salvation from Judgment Day in the metro. Hansa, the Red Line, and the Reich have grown so large because they were stronger than the others and fought with more determination. But now once throughout these 20 years of bloodshed has the fighting enveloped the whole of the metro. What of our tiny underground world is facing a new, final world war? <sighs> Here we go. Got my moral point again. That's so stupid that you can't shoot it. That's not my fault. That is the game lacking something which should intuitively be there. Let's move. It's gonna be another starting gun around here. What are gonna say? It sounds like they're coming from that direction. Or not, I guess. That was close! I dragged Pavel out of the noose, and he says he's going to take me as close to police as possible. Then I'll contact the Order and report on everything that has happened. The path to the legendary theater lies through the catacombs. I've never been here before. And without my new friend, I'd probably be completely lost. I hope he knows the way. Alright, we're ending this video because I've been recording for like an hour for this video. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys. Bye!